for people. That's a really hard question, actually, to answer. Way to go, Becky. Sorry. Way to stop our guest. I appreciate, guest. I appreciate <laughs> no. the answer. But, sure. No, <laughs> well, you said sting, so you're good in my book. Uh, okay, I've got a question from Mike. So hopefully Mike's on here. So they want to know if you and Jerry are with the band through the summer tour, or are you going to join David on the Christmas album tour and beyond, or do you know yet what the future holds for you and David? <laughs> um, that's in my <laughs> line of work. That's always a hard question to ask. I I believe there is a winter tour. They're still putting that together, and um, as far as I know, we'll all be going on it. It's. Um, it's really hard to say in my line of work, but I really, as an artist, I really believe in David, and, and, and I hope to be working with him for a while. I think oh, he's really bad. talented, <laughs> and he's really humble, but I like the music, and I love the band, and I love all, all of us, the way we interact. It's been awesome, so I would I would love to be playing with him for a while. Good. We'll just, Good. You know, my line of work, you never know, like, my family's always asking like you know what what are you doing like next month i'm like i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> next week uh -huh. uh, next month yeah that's kind of a cool way to live when you do know what you're doing yeah. every minute of every day they like that answer pastel said give him a hug uh. <laughs> let's give him a hug too becky uh, well, I have a pastel <laughs> lighting system <laughs> it's not worth it don't worry um okay so more on the band thing could you elaborate this is from mary on life on the bus like okay. how many people are on the bus? Funny have, stories. We yeah. have eleven people on the bus. Um, we have our everyone in the band and Kristen, who a lot of people know from the I Love Access, All Access. All Access. and our Johnny B, which a lot of fans know, our awesome monitor engineer, and Ray, our tour manager, and um, Dodd, stage manager, and our, and um, Dennis, our master guitar tech, <laughs> and uh, is that the blonde guy? Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, he's I can tell. He is awesome. You know, our we're so lucky because our whole our whole crew and everybody who travels on the bus, we all get along well, and we're all in tight quarters. Yeah. We got Axel, our awesome driver, who gets us safe. No, your driver is Axel. Yeah. <laughs> it's very appropriate for the driver. <laughs> Axel, that's Axel. Oh, God, that's but awesome. Axel rocks. He gets us to our destination sure. safe every Axel. day. <laughs> well, you guys even get him on his job. Yeah. <laughs> the bus driver. Yeah. What do you do when but someone's trying to sleep and other people want to stay up? I mean, it's so... Well, there's... It, it's... There's sleeping quarters that are... Uh, there's sliding doors, so it's okay. quiet and they're soundproofed. And then there's oh. a back lounge and a front lounge. And um, so it's it's... We get around pretty easily, but we have a great crew of people. We all like really like to hang out and stuff and get along really great. We have um, Michael, our, our merch guy, is, is on with us. He's awesome. Everybody who's oh, okay. on the tour has been great. Good. Awesome. Do you have any funny stories or um, weird David stuff? Because we know he does a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> no, he's a pretty <laughs> even guy. It's always funny because he'll... He, he's a late nighter and he'll stay up till <laughs> four o'clock in the morning oh, sometimes geez. going through because he goes through every letter every oh, gift you hear that guy every <laughs> single thing people give him he goes through all of it oh. so our back lounge is full <laughs> of gifts on a daily basis and then <laughs> he goes through he just stays up a lot of times and goes through all of it and stuff but he's 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 really quiet. He's really mellow. It's 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 cool. So yeah, it work. It, it all works out. All all our personalities seem to work out really well. Nobody snores. Uh, not that I. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to answer that so question. Me, I have no idea. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> On a bus, it knocks you out pretty good because oh. you know, oh, the moving and the rhythm of the road and everything, yeah. and just yeah. you're you're knocked out. But Michael and I and Mike K like to play this game called Metal Madness, which is <laughs> On VH1, a uh, metal mania on VH1, oh, okay. and so we bet, uh, gentlemen's bet, but we bet what the next video is going to be. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, I love it, rat. No, <laughs> that's not even metal. Yeah, it's pretty funny. That's good. Okay, this is a tough question from Jeff. Um, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. But in your opinion, which way do you think David's career should go with this next album? 
because we've heard, uh, you know, kind of contradictory information about Jive wanting more rhythmic, radio-friendly type of songs, and then David has said he wanted more organic material, and do you think it'll be a mix, or how do you kind of feel about that? Um, you know, I, I really don't know. I, I, um, I don't really have any say or I really liked his record and the stuff that we're out supporting right now and um, what a record company wants and what an artist like David uh, wants to do sometimes can um, it doesn't mesh I don't know his relationship with Jive and how he feels about like what they're doing together so I really couldn't comment on that um, but I, I really like what's on this first record, especially since I knew nothing about it before May. <laughs> yeah. And it's all new to me, but the, all, all the songs we play have been really fun. So um, I think he's got a really awesome career ahead of him. And, and, and Jive is going to, he's going to write with some great people and put some good music out. And, and um, I'm excited to see what's next. Good. Good. Cool. Good answer. Do you do any writing? Do you? I do. I do, do writing and uh, a lot more for like film and TV stuff, but I do, I do so much like traveling and playing other people's music though. Mm -hmm. Most of, um, a lot of people ask like, what do you listen to? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I'm, I tell them I'm mostly listening to the people I'm playing for because I'm yeah. playing with all these kind of different bands. So, yeah. um, it's got to be hard to get those songs out of your head, if that makes any sense. Like when you're trying, if you're trying to write something new, but you've been playing all day long, practicing, and then playing right. night another song. Well, over my over my career, I've tried to like I've played in country bands. I've played really? in, yeah, I've played it like really real country bands. I've played in um, <laughs> hard rock and metal bands. I've played in pop bands and. The, my philosophy is I always wanted to play as much different kinds of music mm -hmm. as I could. Um, because that would mesh together well, like it creates a good artistic palette to to write from and pull from, mm -hmm. along with like your daily your life experiences. So all of that seems to like come together when I'm when I'm sitting down to write. But I travel and I play out so much that I don't yeah. get a whole lot of opportunity to do that. No, no. Yeah. That's cool though. But yeah. at least that's good that you do some though. Okay, we'll ask, a, we'll ask a few more questions that fans sent us, and then we'll let you guys ask him some questions. But I thought this is a good question from Patty, and she asks, um, she wants to know a little bit more about the enigmatic Jerry, <laughs> <laughs> who is, has told me that he wants to stay out of the spotlight, and he's a little camera shy, but um, can you tell us a little bit about Jerry? Jerry... Um Jerry's been awesome from like he from my point of view as a bass player he's made my life very easy because he and I play well together and I, I the way he feels time and the way he plays drums it's like I don't have to think about where he's playing it's just like really automatic as far as his like personality goes he just he's sh more shies away from he just likes to he's one of those guys that really likes to loves to play and show up and play and he has I know he never means anything like disrespectful that he doesn't want to meet fans he's a really really good guy and we've all had an awesome time with him on the road and sometimes people are like oh he doesn't want to meet the fans like what's his problem <laughs> it's yeah. not like that he's an awesome dude yeah. and he's a great musician and um you know, it, it, it is it is what it is. Yeah, he's just sure. a really good guy, but it's been awesome playing with him and, and the band and everything. And he's a really talented guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. good. Do we want to do one more from the fans? From sure. That we have sent in. Okay, three words to describe David, since this is a David site. Can you do three words? <laughs> you can probably do more than three. Oh, three words to describe David. Um, Enigmatic. <laughs> um, he really is. Jukebox. <laughs> okay. And really talented. Like I, 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 I know that sounds cliche and stupid, but it's true. Oh. Like if you say a word, like you're on the bus and you're like, "Oh, we're out of paper towels." He'll pull out a song out of nowhere. <laughs> so like from so 
songs before his era about that had the word paper towels. <laughs>